at this point I'm just uncomfortable. Are we on? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have taken my intro like a million times already. So let's hope this is the last one because I really want to get this video done. <laughs> Those of you who are already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And those of you who are new, hi, my name is Minal and I do all sorts of videos, mostly makeup, but I've decided to do some of my mommy lifestyle videos where I've included a few baby products. I think this is actually my first um, baby related video. I've done a few vlogs where I've shown my, my son, but it's nothing baby related. I've seen a lot of videos going around where moms or moms to be do this kind of videos and it, it has definitely helped me a lot but a lot of things that they show in their video are from the states from america and i feel like you can't get everything from there like i mean you can you can get it from amazon but you can get it from amazon but the shipping is ridiculous and right now with the whole COVID-19 situation, nothing is gonna get to you on time. Like I have ordered stuff within Australia and it it takes forever to come. So I thought maybe my video will help out some of my Australian mamas. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing my what's in my hospital bag video. I'm gonna be showing what's, what I have in my hospital bag and what I'm gonna be taking with my baby's hospital bag or my baby bag. I am a second time mom and so I, I'm not saying I know exactly what to bring but I sort of have an idea compared to what I did take last time. I think with my first one I was underpacked. I, I was there for about three days. I had emergency c-section after spending 30 hours in labor. I know. Um, and I just felt like I kept telling him to bring this, bring that, and buy this, buy that. So this time, I won't say I've overpacked, but it it's there. Also, I know that this time with what's happening, the hospital tries to send you as soon as possible, like they'll discharge you as soon as possible. Now I am trying to go for a VBAC. Those of you who are not familiar with the term, it means vaginal birth after C-section. Um, currently I'm 35 weeks, so I will find out next week when I go for my 36 weeks appointment if I am um, okay to do natural birth. If not, then there's gonna be a few more things that I'm going to be adding, because then I know for sure that I will be staying at the hospital for a minimum of two days. But let's say I did happen to do natural birth, then I will be coming home early. So yeah, if you want to see what's in my hospital bag, then please keep watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share if you do like this type of content. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing I'll do is show you what bag I'm bringing. I am in my son's room. This is a mattress that um, we bought for my husband because he has a really bad back and he needed a better mattress so we bought him a memory foam ma mattress and right now we just don't know where to place it because we don't have an extra bed. <laughs> so it kind of works out because it's really comfy to sit on. Um, this is the little bag that I am going to bring to the hospital. It's just a small carry-on. The same, I took the same bag last time with my first born. It, it carries quite a few things. Very handy. So I didn't have to buy another big bag. I'm having the worst, worst, worst acid reflux right now. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Okay, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm gonna just show you as I go, like there's nothing in order. I don't even know what that means. Like, what do you mean by in order? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so the first thing I see is a very interesting thing to show. Um, when I gave birth 
two years ago. I feel like since then a lot have changed and I was never aware of this product. Or I was, but I just didn't think it was necessary for someone like me. So when you give birth, there is a lot, a lot and a lot of things going down there. <laughs> you give birth, it's very natural for women to um, get bloody discharge. <laughs> So, at the hospital, they give you this really ugly mesh disposable underwear and a pad. If you are a mom and you've worn one of those undies, you know how uncomfortable they are. And just the feel of it on your belly, like, it's not comfy. Not comfy at all. So, I'm taking this with me. This is the adult under, um, I think it's the adult underwear, adult diaper. It is adult underwear. I didn't say anything wrong. All of a sudden, it's like really cloudy outside. Is my video dark now? Anyway, um, there's eight pants in here. So I'm pretty sure that's enough, even if I stay more than two days in the hospital. So yeah. That's one thing in my diaper or my hospital bag. Also, I actually have a mesh underwear that I still have from the last time I was in the hospital. It was two years ago because they gave me heaps of them. And I have this one. I've obviously not worn it. Like, come on now. I'm not going to keep it if I had worn it. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. The disposable underwear that I was talking about. And like it looks normal, but once you wear like, and it, it looks very st stretchy, but look at the bottom. Like there's nothing. You just put a pad there and it just doesn't sit on your body. I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's not pretty. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, that's the underwear. And they come in sizes. Mine was extra large. Cause... I was big. I'm still big. But yeah, that's that. The next is another pad, which is the maternity pad. You definitely need these if you just want to wear an even normal underwear or the mesh one that they provide you at the hospital. I feel like this is um, designed for postpartum. Like, yeah, it's just a very long, thick pad. So that's that. Then I see some gowns and clothes that I'll be taking. So this is what I took last time as well. It's just a very basic nightwear. It's just a dress, like so. I got mine from Best and Less. Um, and it has buttons, so if you're nursing, it's, it's really easy to use. And that's pretty much what you want to get. Something that makes nursing 10 times easier. Because you don't want to stay in those ugly gowns all day. You, you want to shower and you want to change. So that's one. That's another one. This one's from Best and Less as well. Best and Less is really nice um, nightwear. So especially for nursing. And I just have this one robe. Someone gifted this to me. I think it was my sister-in-law. Um, I took it to the hospital last time, but I never got a chance to wear it. But I will definitely wear it this time. So that's that. I have two more out outfits missing from this bag right now because I just regularly wear that. I'm not going to buy a special going home outfit, you know, that sort of thing. It's just um, my sweatpants and a hoodie, which I will pack the day I have to go. I have a small list of last minute things that I have to put in this bag, which I'm not gonna show. I'm just gonna tell you, like one of them is my going home outfit. Like it's not gonna be anything fancy. I'm gonna be putting anything, whatever is comfortable. So that's that. And then the other two things that I don't have it in here, but I will bring it with me is phone charger and headphones. Now headphones, I could pack it if you think, you know, there's so many headphones lying around, just take one. But I have this new phone and I'll show you this phone. It's the S20 and they have changed the 
headphone jack. So it's the same as the charger. So I can't just use any old regular um, headphones. So yeah, I have to take the one that I'm using right now, which is in, in my bedside table. So I'm not going to put it in my bag right now because I actually do use that right now. So yeah, so my charger and my headphones is the two things that I don't have it on me right now. In this bag, packed and ready to go, and the um, going home outfit. Baby rain. And next, I have this cute little bag right here. This has my toilet crease. So I'll quickly show you what's in here. It's nothing exciting. Just honestly, toilet crease. So the first thing I have in here is Listerine because you need to feel refreshed and have a good breath. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this. You have to have a lip balm. Your lips are going to be so dry. Something about hospitals, it makes your lips and your face so, so, so damn dry. You need this, you need this. Sorry, not this. You need this. You need your lip lip ointment. Mine's just the regular popo, whatever, however you say it. Pow pow. Pow pow? Pow pow? Pow pow. Pow pow print um lip ointment. That like take a piece of paper and write lip balm. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. Next I just bought this pack of travel essential because you know all you need is like those teeny tiny shampoos and stuff. So this is the toiletry stuff that I got. It has a deodorant, um, shampoo and conditioner, a shower gel and a moisturizer. It's really cute. The moisturizer is by the brand Vaseline and Sun Silk for the shampoo and conditioner and the deodorant is the one that I'm using currently using but in just in a travel size so this will be perfect for me I'm not very picky when it comes to my hair I will wash with anything honestly only thing I am very picky about when it comes to my hair is my purple shampoo so that I'll I'm not gonna be doing a full freaking routine at the hospital you know toning and stuff so that it doesn't matter I'm not gonna take my purple shampoo anyway so that's that and then I just have a body mist because you know you want to smell good because you feel like absolute crap in there and then I have a comb and a hairbrush and then toothpaste and toothbrush and a facial wash this is by the brain simple so that's for my toilet free and skincare. I don't really have a skincare routine either. Like, I'm lucky that I don't break out. I mean, I do, but it's like touch wood. I don't break out crazy or anything where I need like a five to seven step skincare routine. So, just a make remover and moisturizer does it for me. So that's that. Okay, so my camera died, but I think I know where we were. <laughs> okay, next is my makeup bag. Now, I don't think I will need makeup. I didn't wear any makeup last time, not a single bit. The only thing I might end up doing is getting refills for my lashes if, you know, they fall off. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna put makeup on, so. But you know, in case I want to. <laughs> yeah, so in my makeup bag, there's not much. Just makeup wipes, foundation, liquid lipstick, brush, and uh, an eyebrow pencil, and a brush. Literally. If anything, I will add my, my beauty blender in it. But honestly, I just don't think I will use makeup. And then two very particular about this i don't know why two bobby pins and three q-tips so yeah not much in my makeup bag and then the last few things for my bag is shoes oh actually and socks socks 
the ones that I used last time, I literally washed it today. So it's in the washer, but it's like normal, really soft, comfy, fluffy looking socks. I wore socks with my son, but I think on the last day, because my feet were so swollen that I had to have compression socks the whole time. So I just didn't really wear socks. I am having a winter baby, so it will be cold. It'll, it will be cold. So I am bringing warm shoes with me aren't they so cute um warm shoes and even if i stay there a day i will be showering obviously and it's gross to go without shoes in the shower like let's be real you don't know who's been there and you don't know how clean that is i'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be clean but it's just that mentality you know it feels gross so just a nice pair of just any um thongs flip-flops would do these two were from big w and they were like under 10 bucks both of them combined so that's that and then the last two things that's a must-have for me it doesn't have to be for you but i am gonna take a pillow because pillows in the hospital are so uncomfortable oh my god I did, I hated it. I hated the one I they gave me. It's just it feels like plastic. Like you're sleeping you're like like you're sleeping on a plastic pillow. Like it just it was rough, okay? <laughs> didn't like it. So I'm taking my pillow. I did not specifically buy it for 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 the hospital, but I've had this for a long time. I haven't opened it. So I thought, hey, you know what? Perfect to take it there. And then last but not least is a blanket you need your own blanket i hate hospital blankets hate them hate them hate them can't stress enough how much i hate them so i am taking my own blanket again this is brand new and i just have to wash it and go from there so yeah that finishes my hospital bag for a mama and now let's move on to baby bag. Now for baby bag, I've been waiting to do this video so I can actually go wash all the clothes that I'm taking because you don't want to use it right off the store. You don't know who's touched it, especially around this time. You don't know what's on it. Please, 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 please wash, wash your baby clothes. So the baby bag that I'm using is hold on I, I opened it without showing what it looks like now i have to close it i have to like organize this really well because nothing fits right now okay this is the baby bag it's by the brand skip hop i have a different baby bag um for my son but i'm switching to this because this is like a backpack I will insert like a photo here or here to show like what it actually looks like when you're not so much zoomed in <laughs> but yeah it has heaps of compartment and you can use it as a backpack so you don't have to like put it on one shoulder because my son's diaper bag oh my god there were days where I felt like my shoulder was gonna fall off because it gets heavy and it's hard to hold it on this on one side the first thing I have here is, um, sorry, I'm just out of breath right now. I just feel like the video is so dark. The first thing is the baby blanket. Wow, you know, great. That took me a while to figure out what this was. This is a baby blanket. Um, simple, nothing fancy. If you want to, you know, if you can tell, I got it for $12.95 at TK Maxx. It's very fluffy and soft and I, I have a like a special blanket for my son for his when he was born so now this one will be hers and I'll forever keep it so that's that baby blanket and for babies it's how do I put it like you don't need much because hospital will give you just check with your hospital they they usually give you all the necessary stuff right like when they're born they give you the beanie they when they give you the diapers and they even provide you with pacifier if you need one so for my son i felt like 
I did use a lot of clothes because I was there for three days because they spew and, and you just want to change them. You know, you want them to feel refreshed. That's just me. I can't keep them. I like, I feel like I have to change my baby like every six to eight hours. So this is, this is personal preference. Like you want to take three outfits, go for it. This is just me. So the first thing in here is just, and again, my camera died. Actually, it's, it just heat, like overheats. So it's not like the battery dies or anything. But um, yeah, so where were we? I think we're just about to show the second item in here. <sighs> again, I still have to wash these. The only reason I haven't is because I wanted to make this video first. You know when you wash them and then you have to like fold it and it doesn't look as well presented. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make it look good when I show it in the video. But yeah, I just got these little bonds. Uh, what I was, I think I was showing you the half body onesies. Body suits. Is that what you call it? Half body suits? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Um, they're so cute. There's a short sleeve one that I have that looks like this. Look how cute. So I have two white ones in these, and then I have two long sleeve bodysuits. They're all in size 4-0, so pretty much newborn. And then the next thing I have in here is an, a, two more bodysuit body singlet things. Um, these ones don't have the buttons on the bottom, they're just like normal shirts, but they're meant to be worn inside I think. These are from Kmart. How cute are they? Like they're so tiny. <laughs> so that's that. And then I have this little guy right here. It's like a, a, it's a sleep suit. So this is from Baby Bunting. Okay, next we have, what is this? Oh my God. I don't think I'm gonna use this at the hospital, but I'm just taking it because it's cute, okay? Don't judge me. It's this cute little outfit that I got from TK Maxx. <laughs> Look how cute! And it comes with a headband, right here. <laughs> so I'm taking that. That's not necessary, I'll tell you that. Okay. Next I have these cute little pants from Kmart. And these are the ones that where the, um, the bottoms are like closed, so you don't have to put socks on them. I have two Bonds Zippies. Bonds Zippies are the best because they come with this um, mitten things. Like you turn it around and their hands are already in there. So you know, you don't have to put an extra mitten on them. And the leg part, like you can cover their feet. You can just turn it around and close it off and their feet's covered. So you don't need to put socks on them. That's one of the reasons I love Bonds stuff. Like, it's a bit pricey but it's it's good quality and the onesies are well worth it. I got these new ones. I think this is their new range. And you know me and my elephants. Gotta have them. So that's that. And then I just have a few socks. These are from Bonds. Again, they're just plain white ones. There's two pairs here. And then this I got from TK Maxx. It has a little bow, headband, and another two pair of socks. I also have a beanie slash hat, whatever you want to call it, for her if I want to take pictures and stuff. Look how cute this one is. The next I have some shampoo, which I'm probably not going to use, but I'm taking it anyway. This is just a little mini traveling, traveling set by this brand. I don't know how to say it. I got this from Big W. Now, swaddles. At the hospital, they will give you the hospital blankets. They're okay. They're not the most comfiest material, but it works. My son absolutely hated swaddling. Like, hated it. We barely swaddled him. What worked for him was a swaddling sleep suit. So I have purchased this swaddle me sleep suit and I'm hoping that she will like this if not then well I'll try another product but for now I'm just going with the velcro one so I have two different ones I have this one from swaddle me 
and then I have Love to Dream. So there's these two. They're pretty basic. Put the baby in and then follow the instruction. Nothing fancy about it. And then I have some burp cloths. This is the this is organic muslin burp cloth and it's big. Look how big that is. So when you put it on your shoulder, it covers the front and it covers the back. So that's that. I got this off Amazon. I will list it down below if you are interested. And then the last few things in here is my nursing top. I can't find my nursing top from my son's one when I used to. When I, did, I only nursed my son for like two weeks. My milk production was very low. So I'm hoping I can breastfeed this time. The one that I used to use with him, I cannot find it for the life of me. Like I have all my maternity clothes, but I cannot find my maternity bra and my my maternity nursing top. So this is the one I have. On here it says support singlet, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so yeah, this is that. Just, you know, it just opens here and boom, and your boobie is out. This is from Bonds as well. And I have some headbands for her for pictures. If I want to take pictures, which I will. <laughs> 100% and then I am also taking this is the bassinet fitted sheet I'm gonna be taking this to put it in the the hospital little bassinet court thing they provide you with for the however days you're gonna be there the baby sleeps in there it's just nice to put your own in I don't know I did it with my my son I'm gonna do it with her as well and then the last thing in here is wipes i haven't bought diapers yet because i know the hospital will provide it and when the baby is born i'll just tell my husband to run and run to the shops and grab one because i'm not just gonna carry it in my bag that's just an extra thing to hold so yeah that's it this bag comes with a changing pad which i probably won't need but at the hospital i meant and yeah, it, it, all that stuff was in this bag. Like, it holds a shit ton. And I will also be taking my pregnancy pillow. I'll put a picture somewhere here. It's downstairs. I'm not going downstairs. Just grab that right now. <laughs> no. That pregnancy pillow is like a two-in-one. So it is, it's a pregnancy pillow. And it has a middle attachment. So it, you know, it's like long. You can close it and it becomes like a big round lounger looking thing and you put a there's an insert in the middle so you close that and it becomes um, a baby lounger and you can also breastfeed with that you just put it around you and then hold the baby and the baby will be like like this high so that's why i'm not buying an extra nursing pillow because it worked perfectly with me last time with my son and i'm gonna also take this guy this is by the brand pure flow i think that's how you say it it's the it's like a lounger as well there's a picture of it you know it just the baby just chills in there so i'll be taking this to the hospital as well so i can just have her on the bed with me and she can just chill in there if she when i'm not holding her and it has elephants on it and elephant makes everything better <laughs> okay and that's it there's another thing i have right here which i'm not gonna show because it's when i'm gonna announce you know like the first announcement photo you do that's for that and it has a name on and that's it guys i'm pretty sure i'll be adding a few more things i'm pretty sure i've missed at least five things or more but this hospital bag I've packed this time is completely different from my first one definitely I actually didn't show you her coming home outfit because I want her to wear the same outfit that my son wore those clothes are packed away right now one of these days I'm gonna have to open all the boxes and find his coming home outfit and I want her to wear the same one so that's why it's not in here so that's definitely one thing I will be adding on to this but as far as I know this is it I'm finally done I can go wash these clothes. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. And I 
we will see you in my next video. I think my next video after this is either going to be a baby essential haul or just a baby haul in general or my labor and delivery. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know which one will come first but this video will go up soon. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Mm.